okay now work with authentication in config folder just create a file or the js we want to export this module module dot exports is equal there will be two function in this object first one will be is authenticated and parameter of this function will be request response next this will be an arrow function if request dot is authenticated then if user is authenticated it will look for next operation what user does and else user is not authenticated it will redirect to our home page redirect to our home page <coughs> just like this copy this line paste it below here we need to give an comma here is not authenticated if user is not authenticated then it will go to this <coughs> and it will be next this should be return statement return if the user is not authenticated but on to go to profile page then it will redirect to user slash sign in page okay let's import the these two function inside our user js routes user js now just copy this when we are already sign in that mean we are in profile page then it is authenticated okay when we are not authenticated user is not authenticated okay just keep all of them is not authenticated all the routes is not authenticated post route sign in route sign in post route i think we don't need this route this is user home page now we can access login sign up but we can't access profile profile let's see when we are trying to access profile it redirecting us to the sign in page okay in passport js here is a small correction this user this would be id in the place of user we are going to search our user from the database so just write user dot find by id id the parameter we pass inside this fun callback function okay and the second parameter will be a call function error and the user now we just need to take this line and paste it here okay in the place of user this should be null otherwise it will not work okay save it on see okay once again reload the page click on the sign in cr7 one two three four password and submit it's showing welcome user prayer here we are going to learn how to sign out okay at first make a route for that user js at the 
bottom of all of them we are going to make another route the sign out operation is very very simple okay so just write router dot this would be a delete request and url will be sign out don't forget a for forward slash at the beginning request next okay this would be a callback function as we know as we are doing from the beginning okay request dot log out this is the function for sign in signing out from our session and we are going to redirect redirect to the home page okay once we log out we are going to redirect we can use get route to sign out our user but we are not going to use it because this is not secure instead of using get request we are using delete request but here in profile we can't write delete request by default browser doesn't support delete request so we need to use a package that is method overwrite method overwrite the search on npm js from here you can find that package installation process is very simple npm install method overwrite copy and paste it on your terminal and install it after installing you can see the usage of there you can see examples to use it okay let's import it in our app.js at the bottom of all middleware we are going to use this on app dot use method overwrite and in the or in the single quotation mark we are going to use underscore method okay by using this we can use method overwrite in our action so just write users for slash sign out that was our route remember sign out okay after that we need to give an question mark and underscore method is equal delete this will tell the browser this is an delete request okay okay once again run your server and reload the page from here click on sign in cr7 at the rate email.com enter the right password submit once we are logging to the profile now click on this sign out it is successfully sign out now we can go to sign in and sign up page but we can't go to profile page okay that's all for this tutorial if you like this video please like comment and subscribe by following this tutorial in the future i am going to make more advanced stuff like forgot password or google auth by using google we are going to sign in or sign up okay all the functionality like reset your password i am going to add into this tutorial okay thank you for watching